All right, doing Cascade. Cascade. And MF scan is done. Looks like got a whole bunch of uh, Amazon Web Service stuff here. But it looks like we're... Looks like MMAP. Looks like it's done. So we do have RPC client. Let's um let's start looking at the RPC stuff we were doing the last time. So RPC client and enum dom users. We'll start off with that, I guess. And we do get users. All right, let's go. Okay, cool. So we do get some users. So now it's time to once again let's copy all these users. This is a Hack the box likes RPC client. That is their jam, huh? Uh, let's go ahead and sublime uh, usernames.txt. So we do have users in here. Let's go ahead and whoopsie daisy. There we go. There's that right. If anybody has a good cut command for this, please let me know because I suck with cut. I told you. Chris Nolan is much better than I am. So let's see if you be first dot last for our usernames here. Don't really, probably don't need backup service in there, but just in case. All right, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and save that file. Save that guy, and we can start, I guess, uh, with um, some username uh, enumeration here. Um, One of these days, I will get out of that dump to work and just dump out all the usernames for me. You know what I'm saying? one of these days uh can we do a get mp users do get mp users.py well we still don't know still don't know the domain name or anything like that do we we get a domain name from RPC client? Probably. Look up domain, then we need the name though. Medium DOM groups. Okay, LSA query. Can we try that? So the domain is Cascade. All right, cool. Query disp info. Oh, wow, look at that, huh? Nice. Oh my gosh, that was a description. That one worked way better, DZ. Where were you last stream when uh, I went through every single name and had to try to find a description if I found one. All right, let's go ahead and do Cascade. Um, I want to do this for... Yeah. Cascade. Um, is it Cascade dot... It's probably dot HTB or something like that, right? I'm going to go with... Then we're going to say no pass. Attack users file is going to be usernames.txt. Let's well, see if we can get anything with nothing. Okay. Fine addition to our collection. What's up, Agent Music? All right. Um, what about just regular, maybe it's just Cascade? Dot local. All 
All right, nothing. Nothing yet. Um, LDAP search. Isn't that one? Yeah, LDAP search. And then you can use LDAP search to be able to, um, what is it? Grab a... Huh. Can't get through anything like that. Let's go ahead and, uh, really thought someone was going to drop down because that's what we've been getting the whole time. We could always try to use, oh man, I think brute forcing that many usernames, that's going to take a while. Get user SPNs, maybe? Do something like this. Get user SPNs, and we'll see if we can, uh, well, I think we need actually, yeah, we need domain and usernames, passwords. But I think we can do a no pass with this, right? Yeah, we can do a no pass. Domain is going to be, uh, we have, sorry, I forgot the name of it. Cascade. So we got the domain, right? Slash. And then we'll do attack users file. And that's going to be usernames.txt. Attack no pass. Attack VCIP. Did I ever put an IP address over here? Or am I just a dumbass? Yeah, it's kind of hard to do that when you don't put a freaking IP address in. Tag DC IP. Because I'm used to putting it in the Etsy host wherever I do this stuff. There we go. Client credentials have been revoked. Client credentials have been revoked and been revoked. All right, that was... <coughs> Excuse me. So, what did I do here? What did I do wrong? Invalid principal syntax. Get users SPNs. Dot pi. Why is that invalid? Principal syntax like right there. Because I didn't put down dot local. MMAP script LDAP search. Good point. Okay. There we go. That's what I wanted. Yeah. Let's use this cascade if we find anything. And a map search. A map tag P. Um, was it three nine right? Script LDAP. Boom boom boom. And we will do that for one eighty two. See if we get anything on there. I right, got tag PN. See if we get anything on here, and we'll go from there. Okay. Cascade.local also. See that like right there. Alright. Start looking through this stuff like right there. And hopefully we find something.
not seeing much in here. That service. Huh. Okay. So I'm not really seeing too much in there. We're going to have to go back through and look at every single person again. We have to do that one more time. Tech H and our IP address was. 10, 10, 10, 182, right? Uh, do I have to do like LDAP 10, 10, 10, 182? I'm wondering, or is it just tech I believe, URI? I'll have the bugging level. Maybe we can go deeper. Is that like a thing? Let's go deeper into it. When do I give it the domain name? Base domain name for search. So track B. Okay. Track B. Uh, the base domain name for search is going to be um, Cascade, right? Cascade.local. All right. And that should be it, right? We should just be able to just do it for a host. No. Does that have to be LDAP? Does that have to be like this? Okay. I think we can also just look this up just for usernames also. So given name is Ian. Object UID. This is coming through in base 64, it looks like. I'll have search tech H. I tried it with lowercase h and uh, I said no. I thought that was a thing. But it's like, so I did it with a capital H. LDAP slash slash. I wonder if I should put in the port. Well, it doesn't really matter now if I play the port or not. But I think we can also just break this down. Oh man, there's a lot of crap going on here. <laughs> I 
a lot of stuff going on there. A lot of it, I don't know what the hell, if I'm supposed to be looking at it or not, or reading it, you know what I'm saying? Anything like that, so. If we have to decode all of that, you know? So. Not seeing much. I believe that's a little filter. Object class equals person. Okay. DC stuff. After the DC stuff. Okay, so after the okay. Um, is that gonna go inside of it or outside? Do you know? Or do I put it like with it? Do you know, or is it like a little, like, just like right outside of it, boom, object class. Okay, so object class equals person, like that. Okay. Now we only have the people now. All right, much better. See if we find anything weird. Backup service. Do you think there are less users in this box than there was the last one though? So this isn't as bad, at least. Say good hand, okay. Outside? Okay, okay, never mind. My fault. That was from uh, uh, earlier. He has a Cascade Legacy Password. Nobody else has that. Who are you? Ryan Thompson. Why do you have a Cascade Legacy Password that nobody else has? What is that, R. Thompson? Okay. Well, actually, let me... um. Let me get that first. We'll go ahead and throw this over here. I do my LDAP search thing up here. Okay, so he has this. 
I just want to echo that. I, mean, I think it's just base 64. It is. Ryan 5 ever. Ryan 5 ever. 5 ever. Okay, let's go ahead and echo Ryan. What was it? Was R. Thompson right? I believe it was R. Thompson. Just want to make sure that's right. Cat usernames.txt. Yeah, R. Thompson. And then that into user pass.txt, I believe. And let's go ahead and try even win RM with that. R. Thompson. Whatever the hell that is. Tech I. Um, I don't remember what the. Uh, 182, was that it? Yep, 182. It's been reset. When did it get reset? Just now? How long will we get reset? Can we ping it? Yeah, we can. All right. So at least we got that now. So maybe we can actually get something from maybe over here, some of that now. So we'll do Ryan or R. Thompson. R. Thompson. And his password is. I'll just forget how to actually type this in. Get up user dot pi. R. Thompson. That password. Nope, that is not his password. This password like right here. Well, I'm going to throw that in there. Uh, attack request. Attack DC IP. It's going to be 10, 10, 10, 182. Dot local. Um, okay, so no entries on there. Um, let's go ahead and do a, I always try secrets, don't worry, that's been working a lot lately. Um, this should really be up here with Kerberos thing, there we go. Get users SPNs. And we'll do that for cascade.local r.thompson with that password and then the make sure IP address of that like right there. No entries found. Shit, really. Okay. Still nothing. Um, LDAP dump! There we go. Nope, nothing in there. Okay. So we found R. Thompson. We found what we think is a password. Now. I spell his name right? How about that? Black map is X. See if we can get it anywhere. See if this is even real. Hey, thank you very much for the follow brackets. Thanks a lot. We'll throw that down in there. It's not 182, right? Maybe we can get an SMB now? Okay, we can get in somewhere. So let's try SMB. SMB client. 10, 10, 10, 182. Uh, we'll do attack L. And 
Tack you is going to be R. Thompson. You can also try for PS Exact, WMI Exact, something like that. We got a data folder and also an audit folder. Let's go ahead and check out that data folder first. And a print. Well, that's for printers, but still. I also have that too. Um, okay. I guess IT. Right, I'll go first. Logs. We also have email archives. Um, domain controllers. All right, so we got a log there. Man, this is going to be a while, isn't it? This is going to take a minute, isn't it, to be able to figure out. Can we just download it all at once? Like, we just take everything? Uh, let's go ahead and get that dcdiag.log. I also want to look at the recycling bin. And I also want to look at those emails too. I saw something about emails. That looks like something we want to look at, right? See the email archives. That looks like something. Maybe even an attempt, because who knows what they put in there. Meeting notes of June.html. Okay, that's weird. Uh, let's go ahead and get that. Oh. This is Dyshamel. From S. Smith, I guess. All task related network migration. And this account will be deleted at the end of 2018. Once the migration is complete, this will allow us to identify actions related. To the migration, security law, etc. Username is temp admin. Password is the same as the normal admin account password. The winner of best GPO competition will be announced on Friday. System is ready. Okay, so we have a temp admin. We also have a guy, S. Smith. Why do we have an S. Smith? Yeah, I already have Steve Smith there. But we also have a temp admin who has the same password as admin. So that's good info, right? Um, let's keep going. Log on audit. Damn. Temp. That's Smith. He seemed to be messing around, right? VNC install, okay. CD attempts. CD in production. Okay, looks like I got in the right place first. Contractors. Well, at least they're nice. They just didn't have us going down a freaking million rabbit holes, you know? You should have you should have taken the reg sometimes password or store in there. Really? Okay, I will go back and I will do that. For good old Stevie there. Or, yeah, Stevie Smith. All right, cool. So we got that now, right? So we got quite a few things in here so far. We have the recycling bin. Let's go ahead and check that out. Someone's throwing away some trash. Let's see what this is all about. All right, starting, validating settings, error access denied, exiting with error code, bin manager, running user cascade arc service, okay. Moving object, AD recycle, okay. 
Let's remove the object, new location. Okay. Cascade Arc Service again. Move the object, get you recycling. Okay. So nothing much in there, it doesn't look like. This is the initial setup. They aren't using smart cards, it doesn't look like. One RM's all jacked up, okay. Okay. We already looked at the meeting notes. And now we have this VNC install wrench. So let's see if we can pull. Do something like this. Password decrypts, okay. And we have, what do we have? We have just regular VNC, it looks like. So it's probably real VNC, huh? Multiple product lines. I download the type version. I found my password was stored here. So I use the reg to extract it. Reg query to extract encrypted passwords. Hey, what's up? How you doing, Sri Lanka? How's everything going out there? Oh, oh man. Go ahead and test this guy out. See if we can get anything. CD uh, there. Whoops. Um, and wants to use Python too, huh? So Python VNC password dot pi. All right. File name input. Uh, decrypt, I guess. Decrypt an obfuscated password. Encrypt a plain text password. So I guess we would just do tech f uh, VLC, VNC. Okay. Oh, server access. We're doing pretty good. Country of bankrupt, you, you hate to see it, really. Um, we're trying to get into, we're thinking, the only thing that we have so far is this VNC guy. Huh, I really thought that would do something. Hey, thanks a lot for the follow, Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, bro. Um, let's see here. Okay, let's, um, can we cap BNC? Oh, whoa, way too hardcore there. Just cat the regular phone. Yeah, I just think, because I thought it was like dot registry or something, you know? So I thought, yeah, it's a Windows registry file. So I thought it was going to be all jacked up if I went to cat it. So that's why I tried string stuff like that first. That's pretty funny. Okay. Um, password equals hex. So do I just like unhex that? Like dehex me. Do I just do something like that? 
Um, what is this anyways? Type VNC. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, do a um, crack type VNC password. Crap to decrypt VNC server encrypt the password. This guy seemed to have made one. And he's got type VNC. VNC viewer to I and I though. Value password or password view only. VNC decrypt. I already have that on here. Hey, what's up, Profits TV? How you doing? VNC. Okay. Said it was like a Windows native, so that's all. VNC stores passwords as a hex string. Yes, it does. We just realized that. Files using a default encryption key. The file in OpenSSL one letter can be used to decrypt the string. Really? The output will look like this. And I take it it's going to have to go to like my file, right? So I'm going to go with assume the string value is that. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to go with our string value is 6B CF 2A 4B 6E 5A, CA, 0F. Error setting cipher does CBC. Is that because it's 475 years old? Um, it's going pretty good, Profits. It's going pretty good. That's a .vnc file. I need a .red. What is... Do we already have? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Is OpenSSL is too new. Is try every site and sub worth it? I was looking at that the other night. I think it is, but I'm on it all, all, all the time. All the time. Uh, can we decrypt VNC reg? Type VNC reg password. I could have swore I've done something like this before with VNC. VNC pass view. Recover the password stored by VNC. Can we just throw the reg file on this thing? They're storing your computer. Oh boy. Holy stuff, VNC, search password, configuring VNC, use your tool you downloaded. What tool though? Like I, cd into VNC password.py, Python VNC password.py, no password available to encode or decode. So I tried that um, a little bit ago. But we see the password. We can see it right here. Tac D, Tac H. Okay. BC password.py, Tac D, 
Attack H. I take it I can't have the commas in there. Whatever I do this. <laughs> huh. Let's try that. Probably something like this I would take it. Whoops. Well, that's fucked. Decrypt the bid. Oh, okay. Cool. All right. Awesome. Thank you. All right. I should throw that in here, huh? For random attacks, I'm going to call it. Well, I do have decrypt brute force. I do have that. So we could do a um, VNC with a VNC dot reg file. We have a little. cat file and find the hex output for password and there we go okay so now we have a password for steve right and it's steve version two all right so that's cool um someone on discord okay uh so that's cool so let's go ahead and do a i wonder if we can get in at steve now can we See what we can get in Steve, I guess. B2. Oh, Steve Smith. Oh, that's Smith. I got to throw that password also into my user pass.txt. Let me go in nano or echo. Okay, so we can log in somewhere. S. Smith. append user pass.txt okay um, now let's go ahead and maybe I can evil win our MNS Steve Smith here with that password for 182 right that was our IP address right 182 Yep. All right, cool. So we are in there. Who am I? Slash priv. Okay, nothing really. Groups. What groups do I fall into? Data share, auto share, IT. A lot of made groups, huh? A lot of groups that have been made. This organization, network. I have to pee bad. <laughs> that's really what. That's really what's happening like right now is I got to pee. So... All right, we have quite a few groups in here, though. Um, I feel like... Uh, net domain, or net group. Auto share. Is that a local group? Um, is that like a that local group? Want to share? Okay, comment. Cast you one audit. Steve Smith's the only one in it. Is an auto share and IT. Let's go check out IT. And there's Arc Service, like right there, which I wouldn't mind becoming a service. That doesn't look too bad. Uh, we could also do the LS Tech Force, right? See the C drive. I don't think I ever actually put. Um, I never actually put that in here. There we go. Uh, let's keep going through here. OK. 
Okay, I'm not allowed to look in shares. I thought I could get in there and maybe see what was in the other ones. Since, you know, we had a couple different shares there. Um, I feel like I should be able to. You know, I feel like that's a thing that I should be able to do, but maybe not. Maybe not. I digress. Type user.txt. We also have a we also have winter stat link the LNK, which we have definitely messed with LNKs before, but that's been to actually send LNKs off, huh? And actually hack somebody with an LNK, huh? File with a link file. Are those all your notes from starting the challenge? Yeah. Just from storing this crap, I already have all these freaking notes. Except for the only thing I haven't, I, I added in the, um, what is it? The Mimikatz ones, wherever they want. Where my Mimikatz ones go? Oh, they're under PowerShell. Because I do a lot of Mimikatz PowerShell, so. Uh, I should probably get those out. I'm actually going to take those out of PowerShell. Something like that. We'll put these at the bottom. Because that's more of like a, more of like a privilege escalation thing, you know? Um, man, that's a hard one. We should throw them in, like, right about here. That's what we should do. We'll throw them, like, right there. We'll leave them in PowerShell. I'll figure it out. All right. Um, so we do have a link file. And... What if you get some B client? Remember we had those other ones in here that um, we couldn't get into? Cascade? That's Smith. So he definitely has different rights than the other people do. And there is like five or something like that in here. We can only get into one. We can only get into the IT one. User pass that text. Quick bio break gives plus 25% concentration. What do you mean? What's a bio break? Print. Audit. Yeah, up there in audit. We he couldn't get into audit, but I feel like this guy should be able to, right? Because he's part of that group, right? So he should be able to get into audit now. Oh, P break? Yeah, I definitely I gotta take one. I do have to take one, but Alright, we're gonna take a quick five minute break. I'll be right back. I got to pee. Um, it's also 11 p.m. here now. I said at 9 p.m. that I was going to be almost done for the night. So that was two hours ago. I'm going to take a quick five-minute break. So I will be right back. Um, yeah. I have my phone on me because you guys got any questions right there. Like that. There. We're good now. So we have... Because we should... Okay, so we have a... Lost up in here. Let's go into the database. Get audit database. Run audit.bat, DLL, 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 executable. Let's go ahead. Let's hop over into x64. That's probably just DLL. X86, probably DLL also, right? DLL. Okay. Well, at least we know they're not missing DLLs. <laughs> Could always throw power up at it and see if some of those DLLs aren't being found. If we can mess with them at all. Let's try that. Let's see if power up will 
show us if uh, those DLLs are not actually there. Go ahead and do a Python 3. I have config first. I don't know why I pee on these guys. So grab that. Python 3, HP server, IEX, IWR, use basic parsing. HP, my IP address slash power up dot PS1. Go ahead and try that. Okay, so no AMSI. Incoming. All right. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and. Do a invoke all checks. Whoops. Well, that's happening. Let's go ahead and do an SQL light. Should be able to do that, right? SQL light, and then look at the database, right? To be able to find that database. Where's the SQL light? Like three. And that was for the audit database, right? To show databases. Oh boy. What type of database is this? Show tables? Since I'm already in that database? Oh boy. Um, okay. Show tables with SQL light three. Type period tables. Okay, type period schema. Okay, period tables. Ah, yes, yes. Deleted user audit. LDAP and miscellaneous. So how do I use that table now? Let's select star from table. Yeah, yeah, okay. How can I use, okay, select star from table name. How do we do that? Select star from, okay, just that. Just like normal. So just select star from deleted user audit and then LDAP and then miscellaneous. Okay. Let's try it one more time. Okay, so we have temp admin. Temp admin had the same password as admin, if we remember. So he was deleted, it looks like. Test, deleted, deleted guy, temp admin, deleted. So temp admin was deleted. Select star from LDAP. Is that base 64? Is that a password? For arc service? Not base 32. What is this? Let's go into Cyber Chef, maybe? See what Cyber Chef says? Okay, let's see what Google says. NetFiddle, code editor. Decrypt string that like right there. Cascade three Y six five four three two one. Let's do um um craft map exec on the user of arc service with that password on one eighty two right. Is that what uh, IP address we're on again? 182. 
see if that works. No. Okay, let's try to throw that at usernames.txt. Use I don't have a usernames. See if that comes back for anybody. And we also had a miscellaneous, so we'll select star from miscellaneous. Nothing. Okay, so there's nothing miscellaneous. Nothing came back over here. All right, you have the key. You need the IV, I believe. Okay. You have the encrypted password, the key, but you need the IV do that being AES. So So I need the rest of the stuff in here then. Run audit.bat. What do you think is going to be there? Run, get, run audit.bat. Calls for cask audit.exe. Um, I got the jump order Windows VM. Put those two files over there. I was kidding earlier, but this might actually be. I hope not. I don't know if we need to reverse engineer. I think it's probably just in the database, right? I'm firing up a Windows VM like right now, see if that. See if we do anything with that. Just gotta log into it and stuff. And pass that file over there also. Um So how do we even debug this thing? All right, let's see here. Actually, I should just be able to go to 
Is that 52? Yep. Okay. We need cask audit, right? And we're also going to need... We need that bat file, right? Oh, I want to text him. Right. <laughs> Send me July 4th stuff. Um, we're probably also going to need that bat file, I think, right? All right, now how the hell do we put these two together? No need to point the exe. Need to point the exe to the database, right? Yeah, we're also going to need a database file. Yes. Okay, so now it downloads. So, how in the hell the bat's calling for? We already looked at the bat file, so The bat file, whenever we catted it, primary key, auto increment, table, create table. User audit. Yeah, we already looked at the bat file and that was Calling for cask audit.exe. Let's try to open up audit database, audit, da audit database. So, I think we're at the actually. Yeah, we're going to have to reverse engineer this thing, huh? David Berman, Ben Henson. Cash crypto deal, though? I wasn't quite say I was looking for a DLL. Public token. System cannot find the specified file. I can't explain. Public token equals that. Or one expensive. Isn't that what we pulled from it? Well, we pulled a tote. We...
Let me start the Python server again. Let me grab that file that get cask crypto DLL. Okay. Cash crypto DLO. Well, I think it seems like it's broke, huh? Let me get all of them over here. Okay. I try to do something there. Let's see if we can run it. Now the exe point, maybe you need a uh, cask. Nope, nothing like that. Okay. Easy, you know any tools? Yeah, the bat file is calling for it, yeah. I see what you're saying, okay, okay, okay. I thought I had it in there. The only bat file? I thought there was uh, another bat file. No. I just need um, a tool to be able to do it with. Because I don't think... You try to run the exe form evil win rm i have used it before i just need a tool to be able to use uh because i don't think immunity buggers could be able to do this one right
Run the executable from Evil Win RM? How do we do that? You can run executable with Evil Win RM? Let's download the end spy. See what we got here. Just just download the fucking file, dude. Thank you very much. It's gonna take a minute. I don't know how realistic this one is. He said, um, <laughs> I don't know about that download. Well, we got it now. Here we go. Let's go! It's a VM. Who cares? What's the worst gap? It's gonna break. All right. So let's go ahead and open up a new project, huh? Open. Back it up like a little bit to downloads. We should just be able to open up Cask Audit, right? And we decompiled it. All right. Here we go. Let's go. The hell am I looking at, DZ? Tables, I know what those are. Jesus Christ, DZ. I'm just clicking around this thing now. Alright, um... There's a public key token in here. That's what it said. It says MS Core Lib. Oh, yeah, that's actually the public key I want, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm just making stuff up now. Yeah, there's a public key token everywhere. Okay, we can figure this out. 100% we can figure this out, right? So, Cask on it. All we do is find, go to cask audit. Got that. Should just put you on, uh, what is it? Uh, Discord. Main function. Where do you guys see that at? Yellow writing, yellow writing, bam, ah, cask audit, ah, ha, ha, main module, oh, man, we are freaking getting somewhere, user disabled, no, not user disabled, huh, that was stupid of me, um, main module, probably gotta click on it, huh, I should actually, like, see what's it, okay, let's go, we are getting somewhere. Okay. I know that string. We saw that. We decrypted that. Okay. Password crypto decrypt string. Okay. We're getting somewhere. See, even if you don't know what the hell you're doing, as long as you click enough buttons... 
you will figure it out. Well, and there's someone else telling you to click on the yellow typing, you know. Um, okay. So, we have that. We need... Shouldn't be that difficult, right? We just need the encoding of it, right? Isn't that it? There's that guy. Now all we need is the... So we already got that one, right? Now all we really need is just the decoding of it, right? Main. We already got that. I'm looking for like another thing that looks like base 64, correct? I ain't finding shit. Probably want to click on main orange text. Oh, okay. Ah, out there, all right. We'll do. Hey, thanks a lot for the follow, Subdo. Thanks a lot. I don't know if I'll be following right now, but okay, so. Main orange text. Yeah, I'm in there. That's this guy right here. Remember I found that guy. And I feel like. I just need the other file. Cast crypto? I mean, I work with crypto all the time. Decrypt string? Encrypt string? <laughs> Easy! I found the IV! <laughs> if you just click on enough shit, you will finally figure it out. Alright, so now they have the IV and the cascade thing, right? I can throw that into CyberChef, right? So I should be able to open up CyberChef, right? And I should be able to decrypt it now, right? So I should be able to throw this up here. I'm not getting an output. It should be a... What is it? A, um... Do I have the right thing here? I have the decrypt string. I got the IV. And then I should... Be able to throw in the main, right? Throw in this guy, correct? And throw him in as an AES key? Uh, public key? No. Should be AES decrypt? And then I need the key, right? Or is that the IV? I feel like that's the actual key. It should be AES decrypt. That should be the key. And then the IV should actually be that guy up there, shouldn't it? Should actually go like that. That's the IV, isn't it? It's actually like that, isn't it? Crap. Still looking for something, aren't I? Okay. So I'm still looking for raw, not hex. Is it raw? Did I fuck it up? Okay, one second. It's in raw. What the fuck is this? Get the fuck out of here. 
Okay. It's in raw. Oh, input. Raw? Cypher blockchain. Okay. I feel like we still need more. Need a base 64 decode it first. Which one? This guy? Because I already base 64 decoded the other one. The only thing that I had before? Raw on input and output. What? How does that mean? <laughs> From base 64. Okay, from base 64. Okay. You're probably laughing hysterically right now, huh, DZ? Do I need something in here to actually base 64? Um, I still have that basic 64 text. Do I need that? Like that? It's raw for input and output. Oh, input raw. Oh, let's fucking go! So if I didn't throw that random basics four in there, would have yeah. Okay, cool. So we have welcome friend. All right. What did we even do all that for? What was that? Who who are we even working out like right now? Do you guys remember Steve Smith, right from um? What is it? Steve Smith from um, American Dad. Right? Isn't that what we're working on? So, is Steve Smith's password now... No, we already got Steve Smith. Oh, the, that one guy. The fucking... Arc Service. That took so long, I didn't even remember who we were even going against. Thank you, Deez. Thank you, No Nothing. If this doesn't work, I'm about to say, if this doesn't work, I'll throw my computer out the window. Okay. Now, evil... Win RM, watch. We're going to have to go back into the um, database, back into the uh, SMB, and we're going to have to do even more. Arc service. Arc SVC. Password. And that's for 185, right? Still not gonna work, is it? It's gonna. Is this box even still up? That's the real question. Oh, 182, 182, 182. Thanks. Thank you, DZ. How do you remember all this crap? I don't, I, I can't remember what I ate for breakfast. Probably because I didn't eat anything for breakfast because I don't have any kids here. <clears throat> Uh, four children, CD and desktop. Do we already get the user.txt also? I don't remember. Oh, God. CD, backpack. Who am I? I thought I was going to have something, you know, like, to show for all that. Nobody. I am nothing. I really am. I'm really nothing, huh? We did all that to end up in the same exact spot we were in 
like an hour ago. We still need to figure out who the hell Temp Admin is, right? So we still need to figure out everything about him. Think he still exists in this thing? I remember seeing him last time. Um, he's not in here. Yeah, Ted Batman will be deleted. Well, we already looked in the AD recycling bin. We could already see in there. That wasn't a big deal, like right there. But if he's been deleted, then he should be. Yeah, but we already looked in the recycling bin. We we could actually look at it. There's um, it just showed a whole bunch of crap in there. Remember, there was nothing actually to actually um go off of. We, we were able to look at the recycling bin um, from the beginning, I think. I don't remember this guy's password, actually. I think we were able to look at him with R. Thompson in the recycling bin. So it was in the share, if I remember correctly. As long as that was this box, I know we have, I have done like four or five boxes in a row, huh? I'm in audit like right now, that's why. Okay, that might have been a box or two ago, huh? Whenever we looked at the recycling bin. So we gotta look at deleted objects now, right? So, get 80 object. Deleted, or is it include deleted? Deleted objects, yeah. <coughs> Should be able to uh, get a job tech filter is deleted, equal to true. Let's go ahead and check that out. Nothing. Uh, term if. Where's if at in there? How do you see if? Just take it one step at a time. Get 80 objects, delete objects. Did we do that like right there? Or is that going to say no? Okay, nothing came back. All right. Delete objects. Temp admin. Here we go. We got the Cascade Legacy Password, okay. So, let me, um, I don't know if I really need that command, right? I'm going to grab it. Let me go ahead and, so we got his password now. I'm just going to throw this into here for PowerShell. Um, deleted Objects. 
Throw that in there. Okay, we'll save that. And we do have his password now, right? We have his hash or whatever. Cascade Legacy Password. Last time we just basic exported it. Let's go ahead and throw it into Cyber Chef. See if he says anything about it. If he has anything to say. Factor Noodles. So that should also be the admin's password, right? So we should be able to. The line's broken. One, two, three, or five? Question mark. Oh, yeah, the filter line. Yeah. I saw after I put it up there, I saw this crap. So now we should be able to, but I hate putting in a whole bunch of filters because then I never get back what I want. So I'd rather have a shit ton of information to scroll up because I like to watch all the words go by. And I, oh, wow. And then almost too much where, you know, it's overwhelming. You just scroll all the way up and say, I didn't see anything. Um, so let's go ahead and evil win RM. And this time we're going to get in as administrator, right? And this is on 82. And this is going to be for password of that. Bacteria noodles. <laughs> CD back back. CD in a desktop. Type root.txt. All right. So that privilege escalation was impossible without DZ here. That's what I'm going to go with. So let's go ahead and submit the flag. I would say like a privilege escalation was probably like an eight. No, it wasn't too hard. It was hard. Not too hard though. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm tired now. Um, real life. Cascade has been pawned. Thank God. Awesome. Thanks a lot. Okay. Best of luck in capturing flags ahead. Hey, thank you. Uh, real life. What would you say, DZ? Have you ever had to do that in real life? I mean, I know that you've done that before, but have you ever had to like, you know, get through something like that? Common vulnerabilities? Enumeration? It wasn't even really enumeration. I mean, I guess a six I enumeration because of all the SMB stuff. All right. I am done. It is 1130 at night here. That is going to be it for me for today.